Hey guys, Thrasher here. We've got a new banner with new characters on the way. Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go over to menu, go to news. We'll open this up and check out the announcement. Um, we have Super Vegeta and Super Trunks on the way. One thing I want to mention before we get into these two characters and how I think they're going to work. Um, we do have some data that was uh, quote-unquote leaked. Um, a few weeks ago, someone made a post about uh, some characters that they saw in the data mining that are eventually going to show up. They created a list of who's going to be in what banners, who's coming up next. It hasn't been 100% accurate, but it's been about 98% accurate. So I'm going to use that data that they posted to try and figure out who's going to be in this banner, who's in the upcoming banner, and it may not be exactly perfect, but it's going to be pretty close to what we're going to see, I'm willing to bet. So first thing I want to do is talk about Super Vegeta. Super Vegeta, I'm willing to bet, is going to have slightly lower stats than your average sparking unit, and the reason behind that is because as he stays in battle, he's going to do more and more blast damage, which means it's going to try and keep you away from uh, vanishing stats stepping and then switching to another character. If you can keep this Vegeta in, he's going to do more and more damage. So if you if you switch into him, at first he's probably going to hit like a wet noodle. But if you can keep him in for 10 counts, he's going to start to hit reasonably. Keep him in for 20 counts, he's going to start to hit hard. Keep him in for 30 counts, he just starts wiping opponents. Um, I think that's the idea here. And as you can see with both of these units, the idea is they don't want you switching characters constantly. So let's talk about Trunks. Trunks, I think, is probably the better character of the two. I think Super Vegeta is going to be good, but Super Trunks is possibly tough top tier. He does a ton of strike damage when you switch opponents. So if, you're, if your opponent vanishing steps you switches to someone else and then you hit them with that trunks and do a lot more damage. And the other massive thing here, this is what makes him a top tier unit if it has a reasonable chance of, of actually proccing, is when he uses his strike arts cards, it can stun the enemy. It can faint them. Even at like 10%, this, this is huge. If it's something like a quarter, 25%, 30%, 1 in 3, it, I mean, it would be insane. I don't think it'll be that high. 10% is probably pushing it. Um, but I'm willing to bet that this is going to be an amazing unit. Now, that data that was leaked that I talked about says that in this banner, um, there's going to be a third sparking unit, which will be fused with Kami Piccolo. I think that makes a lot of sense. It, it works extremely well as far as where it fits in the storyline in Dragon Ball Z. This is when it happened. He's a great character. A lot of people enjoy him. A lot of people have been waiting for that character as well as these two. Um, so I think it makes sense. Another thing to mention is we already know Ultra Space Time 4, which comes in two weeks, is going to have Perfect Form Cell and Super Saiyan Goku. That data confirmed that as well, and it said it's going to have Super Saiyan Gohan Youth. So what that says to me is we're going to get these characters and probably the Fused Piccolo tomorrow. In two weeks, we're going to get Perfect Form Cell, Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Saiyan 1 Gohan, which says to me that very shortly after that comes Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So I'm not saying don't pull on these. They're probably going to be good units. I'm not saying don't pull on the Ultra Space Time banner, which also will have good units. Although I will say don't pull on them immediately because we're probably going to get guaranteed sparking tickets. What I am saying is make sure when you pull that you reserve some extra crystals because Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is on the way. I, I am 99% sure that he's going to be very, very soon and he's going to be very, very powerful. I'm willing to bet he's going to get his own banner. And that's really all there is to this banner update. If you guys have any questions about these characters, if you think I missed anything or, or there's anything else you want to add, throw it in the comments. We'll make sure to get to it. And if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.